Good day, Bill from BC Pythons, and today we got an exciting video for you. It's the unboxing and rehousing of my H Maculata, uh, also known as the Togo Starburst or Ornamental Baboon Tarantula. So I got it from Evan Stahl Reptiles, and uh, I was supposed to get one up at Tinley in March, and uh, I had my hands full of uh, snake tubs and actually walked out the door and totally forgot to go back there. So he was nice enough to send one home with my friend yesterday and I could not be more happy with the specimen I got. So uh, make sure you check him out, Evan Stahl Reptiles on Facebook, Instagram, and online. He's got a great selection of uh, tarantulas and also some great looking reptiles. So check him out. So uh, <clears throat> a little bit about the spider. Um, it's gorgeous. It's an old world species. Kind of looks like if a baboon tarantula and a PT Leptheria were to have a child, this is what it would look like. That's just my opinion. I'm no expert, but absolutely gorgeous. And uh, stay tuned for the rehousing and see if it goes as well as we hope. So, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the end of the video. Thanks. Alrighty, and here we go. Relocation and rehouse from its deli cup, my Hedera Scodra Maculata, or HMAC, or Ornamental Baboon, uh, or Togo Starburst also is what it's called, common name. So we'll be moving it into this new enclosure here, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I've cracked the top of the lid open. And uh, let's, hopefully this will go well and uh, you'll get to see how I transfer my tarantulas into a new home. So these are notorious for being very fast tarantulas. So I'm going to take my time. I actually set the entire container inside the enclosure. Then I'll shut the lid, and if things go right, I should be able to finish popping the top off from here with a pipe cleaner. And as you can see, sometimes it doesn't go as planned. So, uh, just needed to get it a little more open. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. It's hung up just a little there. Now here's what I do. I use tongs also. There we go. As you can tell, we didn't spook it. And it's still sitting in there with, with the lid off. So what I would do from here is give it a minute. So I'll pause this. We'll let it rest for. Okay. And we're back. Now, hopefully we can do a little coaxing here. And get it to hop on out of the container. As you can tell, this is an HMAC with its fangs bared and attacking the pipe cleaner. There we go. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully, it'll crawl on out from here. Let me get that camera to focus in there a little bit. Let 
This is the one I got from Evan Stahl at Evan Stahl Reptiles. And uh, I cannot be more happier with this guy. This guy is fantastic looking. And you can see the back legs on him are larger. And they have a little bit more hair on them also. So we'll give it a minute see if it'll walk on out of there. We've already bugged it enough. So we'll come back in a little bit and make sure it's uh, getting settled in and get the tub out of there. Another shout out I want to give in this video is to Dreamco Plastics. Check them out at dreamcoplastics.com. They make wonderful uh, enclosures for tarantulas, geckos, and uh, great designs. Plenty of ventilation for a boral type species of tarantulas. So I now own three of them and uh, love them and highly recommend these cases. And that's coming from a guy that builds plastic stuff. So there you go. Make sure to check them out at a local reptile show. They are at all your major regional reptile shows. And uh, you can also order online. And tell them Bill sent you from BC Pythons. And I'm back. Well, I'm glad that turned out uh, the way it did. And uh, everything went smooth. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Evan Stahl over at Evan Stahl Reptiles. Show him some love on Instagram, if you would, please. And... Uh, also, don't forget Dreamco Plastics. Absolutely love these enclosures. And uh, I was busy with my hot glue gun last night and uh, got this all put together for this new one. And I believe it's a girl after seeing the bottom of it now. So I'll uh, have to do some further investigating. But anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your love and support. And we'll see you soon. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up on there. And uh, stay tuned for more snakes and tarantulas from BC Pythons. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon.